Okay, yeah, let's talk about grain structure in jade. It's a fibrous stone that's been laminated together. It kind of looks like a DNA strand um, that's interlocked. So what happens in low quality pieces is you start to see the delamination. And this one's a really good example where, where you can tell the grain structure is going through like this because it's starting to peel out that way. It looks like you can get your fingernail underneath. This one too, you can see the, uh, the grain direction. And that's again, you'd have to cut it with that direction, not against the grain. It's just like wood. That's why people love to carve it because it's a fibrous stone that really holds together well with uh, delicate forms like flower petals and fingertips. Here you can start to see the delamination again too. And you can actually see where it's helped the cracks move through the boulder here as well. So that has compromised the structure because the boulder hasn't had enough heat and pressure in the earth. When we get to a higher grade piece, you start seeing a conchoidal uh, spall mark, and you'll actually see, you know, in, in the edge here, the scaling, that's the term we use to, to denote those uh, laminations, the scaling is a lot tighter. From one inch down to about a millimeter or less, it's very, very tight and compact, and that's good because that means we can start cutting the jade in, jade in any direction and it'll hold up well to carving. No longer does that structure matter as much. There's a little tiny spall mark here, if you can see it, where a percussion wave moved through, but you can see how tight that grain structure is. And same here, you can start seeing how tight it is. It's hard to see if you're new, but if you look at enough boulders, you'll start finding it.